won five straight in this series. Thompson, Jackson, Davis to jump, and the opening tap is controlled by Race Thompson. Quick look at Davis. He tries to dunk it down, denied by Battle. It's going to be Minnesota ball. What a block from Battle quickly designed by Indiana, but number 10 made the play. It looked like Trace Jackson Davis was going to go up and tear the rim off about two seconds into this game. And give a lot of credit to Jamison Battle. Minnesota not getting back, but he makes a heck of a play on that ball for the block. Cop picks up battle defensively. Is that the matchup tonight for Indiana? Well, I think anytime you talk about Minnesota, especially with no Dawson Garcia on the floor, it's going to all center around Jamison Battle. So, yeah, I think that's fair to say. Miller Cop is going to have to do the job tonight. Thompson feeds Ola Joseph and is fouled. Jordan Geronimo has done such a great job of filling in and really giving a spark. down the baseline jumper. They have got to get him going. It's going to have to be a team effort. No Dawson Garcia, no Pharrell Payne. It can't just be Talon Cooper and Jamison Battle. It's got to be other guys as well. Minnesota goes zone, and Sam goes with a reach. Going to see bodies all night long in that zone, but Indiana's going to have opportunities for both Trace and their shooters. Trace Jackson Davis back to back 30 point games during this three game winning streak for Indiana. First major conference player in the last 25 years to secure at least 65 points, 20 rebounds, nine assists, and eight blocks in a two game span. He has totally elevated his level. He's gotten healthy and he is playing right now like one of the best players in college basketball. Shafino against Samuels. Thompson, he has that three point shot in this game. I think Ben Johnson wanted that shot to go up. He's going to have pick and pops. It's going to be, does he take him? Is he aggressive? Battle has to fire three to shoot and knocks it down. So, Battle, good start. He has all five of the Gophers points. That's a huge one for Jamison Battle. Coming into the night, three of his last 21 from three. Didn't score against Purdue. Just two of eight from three in the loss at Michigan. We're going to need him to ball out tonight. Jackson Davis short, and Thompson the rebound. Talon Cooper averaging 11 points, six assists per game. Now the freshman Ola Joseph against Thompson, already playing with one foul, shoots over him, and too strong. Not a bad idea against Thompson, already one foul. I think they're, they're testing that knee out to go at him. Ola Joseph, when he scores, it's going to be in that painted area. Galloway coming off a great game. I want to see Miller Cop be aggressive. Six consecutive games of three field goals or less. Jackson Davis lost it, got it back, muscled up and scored. It's just a weight room. I mean, he loses that ball, finds a way to gather it, and then just goes right through that defender. Coming off a 31 point, 15 rebound performance in the win against Michigan State on Sunday. Battle off the fake. Resets to the three. This one short, long rebound. I've always thought if you, you could step into a shot rather than back, and I guess that goes against some of the, the three-point deals that we see now, but I'd like to see him get to the pull-up. Underneath, Thompson stripped and fouled. That's so well that my teammate was playing in my absence. Look at the double-double. The win against Wisconsin, 13 and 8 Illinois. He certainly gave Indiana a real spark. And see tonight when his opportunity comes. Cooper denied by Thompson, got it back, scored in a foul. Oh, they got a jump, jump ball. ball. They got a jump ball. Thompson, right side for three. And Ochefina with the rebound. There's that pick and pop for Thompson. It's going to be there all night long. Gophers back into the zone. Thompson from the elbow, contested shot, left it short. Oh, why he shot it like that? It was like a double clutch, just a little in between where he should shoot or pass. Battle is all five of the Gophers' points so far tonight. Cooper steps back. He lets it fly. His three-point shooting numbers have dropped off a bit. 
still leads the Big Ten in three-point shooting. He, he has struggled lately, but still shooting it well in the season. Henley, good defense from Thompson. Loose ball picked up by Indiana. Now Kopp will fire transition three. No, Thompson flies in for the rebound. Kopp tries again up top. Another three is good, and Indiana takes the lead. Just a great play from Race Thompson flying in there in transition. He comes all the way from the three-point line, makes a play on that rebound, and then finds the reload for Miller Kopp, top of the key. It's good defense on one end, and Miller Kopp on the second try got it to go. Oh, the Joseph sees the open lane attacks and scores. Like we said earlier, I think he's really testing that knee defensively for Race Thompson. He just blows right by him. But Shafino pulls up. That's a two. It's off the mark. Well, the Joseph the rebound. I like Indiana using that ball screen for Hood Shafino against that 2 3 zone. Screen the top of it and let him get to his pull up. Thompson off the fake. Cut off by Jackson Davis. He bodied Jackson Davis. And I don't think Jackson Davis moved an inch. <laughs> Jackson Davis, the rebound, runs the floor, feeds Kopp for three, knocks down his second three tonight. Just not many teams in America that their five-man can start the break off the glass, lead that thing, and find the shooter once again. It's Miller Kopp in a transition setting. Indiana top three in the Big Ten at three-point shooting percentage, and Kopp has knocked out two. Cooper against Galloway. Late clock, it's under five. Ola Joseph crosses over Thompson, drives, hangs, and is fouled. Ola Joseph at the line, shooting two. Race Thompson picked up a second foul. Jordan Gerardo. There's race on the bench with two fouls. Galloway also comes out. Minnesota going to bring some token pressure just to take some time off this clock so they can drop back into this 2 3 zone. down low Davis quick catch turn and a bucket easy game right <laughs> <laughs> Describe like that Just throw that thing in there and let Trace Jackson Davis get to that left hook yes five tonight battle scored the first five for Minnesota and Romberg on the floor for the Gophers bounce pass underneath against Beat scores in a foul Walk on now on scholarship, cannot complete the three point play. It's 14 minutes per game, but he'll play some important minutes here tonight. Geronimo at the elbow, drives, we play on, and now an offensive foul is called. Third Indiana turnover. Henley, now he's bumped by Bates, and that's a foul. Bates comes out after picking up quickly two fouls. Battle at the elbow, pulls up, knocks it down. He's in quite the rhythm here tonight. Man. An early bucket has just carried him right through. I thought he could have swung that thing to Henley, but why do that when you're just cashing out? But Shafino off the screen from Geronimo. CJ Gunn threw it too low. Thompson, he'll try for three. And that stunt by Hood Shafino just threw that rhythm off just enough. Good job knowing the scouting report by the freshman. Off the fingertips of Geronimo, another turnover. Three straight turnovers down the floor for Indiana. Cooper against Gunn, lost his footing, caught a whistle and a foul. He's always here. He's never went to the office. The managers are such a lifeblood of every college basketball program, whether it's the mail outs or rebounding for the players or doing administrative things. These places don't function without the managers. 
Lon Cooper splits two free throws. Minnesota, by the way, already in the bonus. 17 fouls in Indiana. Five turnovers as well. I mean, had some issues here with this Minnesota 2-3 zone. Uh, you turn it over only nine times total in the win against Michigan State on Sunday. Just not penetrated this zone one time. That ball just goes around the arc, and that's a win for an undersized, undermanned Minnesota squad. But Shafino picks up Henley, two freshmen. Oh, and dangerously is going to hand that off to Cooper, but Galloway read that. Galloway hasn't gotten a shot yet. We're almost halfway through this first half, and he's coming off a game where he's absolutely terrific. 17 points. Three assists, knock down three threes. Henley knocks down the three, just his seventh made three all year. And many of his teammates in sweats tonight cheering on for this 8 nothing run. It's another guy who struggled. Henley, two of his last 13. Jackson Davis, quick spin, and blocked by Thompson. That's the second bucket for Trace Jackson Davis. That's gotten met at the rim and erased. to start the game and now Thompson with the block. Tight defense from Cobb, battle tough two, short. Underneath, finding an open lane. Malik Renu, his first points here tonight, averaging seven per game. It's a quick, decisive move. He's got so much ability, can put the ball on the floor. It's a catch, rip and go, and score the rock. 21 minutes against Michigan State. Most minutes he's logged the last four games. Henley as Ixia Fino took an extra step. Minnesota is really out here competing. And that's just a great cut from Henley on the baseline. If you're Jalen Hood Shafino, that's just not good enough defense. Jackson Davis at the elbow against Thompson and scores again. That's there, right, yeah, for number yeah, 23 a, all night. That's a big-time move. That zone just flattens out, and really it's one-on-one -on -one with Trayton Thompson and Trace Jackson Davis. Three-point game. And Joseph denied to shoot over Renew, way off. Battle, hustling for the rebound, kept it alive to Cooper. These effort plays are, are all going the way of the Gophers. Cooper driving, dishing, and Thompson with the dunk. <laughs> Renew, baseline, strong move, Luger. and two more right to the chest of Trayton Thompson. That's a big boy move right there from Malik Renu. Sits this crowd down. Big time play by the freshman. Cooper put on a dribbling clinic on that last setup for Thompson. Entertaining start. Meeting number 176, Minnesota and Indiana. Cooper is fouled. Dead last, the Big Ten, free throw shooting. Great start, and they have gotten contributions from so many different Gophers. Indiana bringing Tamar Bates back on the floor with two fouls. Coming off a game where he knocked down five threes. Renew. Left hand shot, too strong. Rebound Henley. There's a lot of youth on the floor right now. Well, Joseph lost his footing. Fortunate bow. Stay with Minnesota. Battle is seven. Defended by Geronimo. Good D by Geronimo. Tough shot battle off the mark. Great defensive stand by Jerome. He just got in the stance, locked in, and there was nowhere for Jamison Battle to go. Boy, Indiana's been really loose with the ball. It's another turnover. Number six. Gophers have yet to turn it over once. 
Samuels, offensive foul. Those guys are gone. You talked about elevating up the scouting report, then you throw in missing the first four games due to a foot injury. I mean, that's just that's a tough way to start. Jackson Davis missed the bunny, long rebound. Comes out to Samuels. They got exactly what they wanted. Jackson Davis at the rim, you get a middle touch. It doesn't go, but that's what Indiana has to do here against this packed in Minnesota 2-3 zone. Jackson Davis. Ola Joseph's your four. So battles being guarded by, by quicker wing defenders. And I think that's really hurt him in terms of his advantage speed-wise getting by people. It's going to be hard to overcome if they find themselves in foul trouble. Gophers only played seven guys against Michigan over the weekend. Bates lets it fly. No, and battled and rebound. That was with Garcia and Payne available to play. And a four-point loss in Ann Arbor. Henley's had some great minutes here in this first half. And Samuels held by Gavilan. It's a one and one. Top of it, they've, they've shot a much better percentage. I mean, even though it's, it's only 66%, that's substantially better than what they're shooting on the season. But shafino has been quiet, changes that. That's going to be there tonight. That, that screen the top of the zone. It's going to be Hood Shafino get to that 15 footer. And that's an option that I really like for Indiana. Now to flex the pass with that length and a steal. Hood Shafino brings it low, muscles up, no off the glass, tipped around once, twice. Galloway got it back and he's fouled. The line is Galloway. Malik Renew was surrounded by five gophers, but he wasn't exactly making like a crazy good effort to get out of there either. He was moving pretty slow. Third time for Jackson Davis off two missed free throws. And Jackson Davis stuck with it to make it a two-point game. And now Hood picks up the foul. Jaden Henley. Now uh, the Mississippi State game, Ben Johnson put Tor Samuels in for just a more experienced ball handler. And he stuck with that look. Trip though. Then he misses both. But Shafino, this for the lead. Well, Joseph goes up high for the rebound. Man's rebound there. Once again, just screening the outside of that zone. Hood Shafino getting the jumper up, but give a lot of credit, Joshua Ola Joseph. He's going upstairs, and it's going to be every time because Indiana, with the size advantage on Minnesota, last is going to be the game. Turnaround jumper from the baseline, short, and Jackson Davis the rebound. It's his eighth rebound to go with nine points already. Now we'll give up the ball. Galloway from the corner for three. And Cop, but he saved it. No. Gophers about a field goal, last four and a half minutes. Torres Samuels, he's running point right now because Talon Cooper leads the Big Ten in minutes. He's on the bench with two fouls. Pull a pass to battle. Right side three. Off the mark. Thompson saves it into the hands of Bates. But Shafino in transition. Attacking, dishing. Cop tries again for the corner. And again, no good. Another high quality look. And another good push from Jalen Hood Shafino. Ola Joseph, a rare three. Jamison Battle is one thing. That leads to a run out. That, that's going to be bad things for Minnesota. Trace Jackson Davis has been the conductor, and he's just brought everybody along with him. Five points for number five. Malik Renew, freshman from Miami. Guy that was committed to Florida, but then when Mike White left for Georgia to really open things back up is in Bloomington really comparably to what happened with Tamar Bates he was going to go to Texas but then shot the smart left went to Marquette and Mike Woodson connected with Tamar Bates and Indiana is thrilled to have him I think for Minnesota good move by Ben Johnson to get to Lon Cooper back on the floor the offense not much going on from a creation standpoint it's not a great shot either love some of these shots that Minnesota is getting. Cooper's playing with two fouls. Indiana 
Durant has got to find the high post here. And it's just been passing around the perimeter for a lot of these possessions. It's Renew at the elbow, picked up his dribble, turn around left hand, friendly roll, Indiana back in front. It's that high post area, and Renew takes his time, surveys the defense, and gets back to that strong left hand. Eight nothing, who's your run? Shafino. It feels like Minnesota has gotten so many loose balls go their way. Cooper crosses over, hangs off the glass and scores. Oh. Big time there. And that was a tough shot over the top of Renew. Top along the baseline. Jackson Davis spinning, pulled three by Headley into the hands though of Renew, and he's having a great first half, adding to that with two more. That's the second time that we've just seen Trayton Thompson go flying back. Bodies have collided. And Malik Renew continues to win that battle. He's got a team high, 10 points in this first half. Oh, but Joseph trying to answer, brought it down one more time, and that was knocked away by Jackson Davis. Now Ola Joseph slow to his feet. To see that from Minnesota. I mean, you never want to see guys get hurt, but they are so banged up. But Shafino reverses and scores. No lot Joseph now. You can see him up at the top of your screen getting, looks like stretched out. Which to me would say a cramp, which would be a good thing. 12 2 Indiana run. And the State Farm halftime report coming up. Dave and the guys momentarily. Will Ramberg back on the floor. Right now it's battle, crosses over a new, misses inside. Rambert got it back, and look at that, he found the bucket. He was surprised the ball was in his hands for a second there. <laughs> look what I found. But Shafino tries to answer Kent. That's a really bad shot there by Hood Shafino. You got three or four gopher defenders right there. Cooper for the lead. You okay with that shot for Minnesota? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, he's leading the Big Ten in three-point percentage. They go under, let it fly. Every broadcaster. Galloway, right corner three. Not there, out of bounds, Minnesota ball. Taking on that bigger responsibility and just carrying his team. Game leaders brought to you by Auto Owners Insurance. And Trace Jackson Davis certainly is a leader. It's Henley. It's Henry. He was blocked. Loose out of the floor. Thompson got it back and scored over time. Tell me, every 50 50 ball, every hustle play has gone the way of the Gophers. It's honestly incredible. It feels like every ball that's been loose, they, they have got the breaks. Cop silences the bar in late seconds here in the first half. Cooper with two, with one, lets it fly from half court. And that's the first 20. Miller Cobb knocking down a late three to give Indiana a three-point lead. Hoosiers have won the last five in this series. Trey Galloway. Skip pass intercepted by Battle. I mean, the, the play is for Trey Galloway there. They flare him in. He just didn't look like he was ready for it. He's not very aggressive there, and then throw that lazy pass across the floor. Indiana's lucky that wasn't a bucket. Grace Thompson, five minutes in the first half, picked up some fouls. He's on the floor. To lock Cooper, the left hand scores, sealed, and it's a one-point game. He cannot pick up his third foul because he's the one guy out here that can create. That's off the pick and roll. He keeps Miller Cop right there on his right hip, and Cop could never get back up in front of Talon Cooper. Jackson Davis draws attention, left hand pure. Another double-double. Trace Jackson Davis, 11 points, 11 rebounds. Whenever they can, throw the, career double -double. Whenever they can throw the ball into Trace Jackson Davis, that ball has got to go in there. Galloway. Hands, but a 50 50 ball comes back to Minnesota. Yeah. It's like there's a magnet to Minnesota. 
Galloway run to the floor, spins, hangs, and denied by Battle. There's a great spin, but Battle with another five block. Samuels underneath, Thompson with the block. Now Trey Thompson missed it inside. That's got to go in, and this is a basket. Fingertips on that shot attempt by Jamison Battle, and with that, a new Indiana shot block record. The fingertip one, huh? I think that changed direction. <laughs> Friendly scorekeeper here in Minneapolis. We had like a whole CSI group <laughs> at time to really broke down the spin. Every spin, fingerprint, you name it. And we have seen him just obliterate shots, and that's the one that gets it done. Five point lead, the largest tonight for Indiana in traffic. Samuels with a miss. Thompson got it back and scored. It's 50 50 balls again. Minnesota is just winning all of them. Once again, Jackson Davis waits, now goes up again, missed, tipped around. Race Thompson tipped it back up. But there's Samuels on the floor. Oh, Joseph on the floor. Jump ball, arrow is going Minnesota's way. Cooper picks up his dribble, now Samuels, led by Bates. Thompson off the fake, got Jackson Davis off his feet, he'll drive, hang and miss the layup. Tipped around, Jackson Davis has it. It's the third missed layup for Minnesota here to start the second half. Good looks near the rim. Minnesota not capitalizing. Race Thompson, stripped, lost it. Ola Joseph. He just does not look comfortable. It's hard when you're coming back from injury. And Race Thompson does not look like himself out here. Second game back, missed four, injured his knee against Iowa. Back playing in his hometown. He's in the starting lineup tonight. Samuels, too strong, long rebound, and this one there goes go. Indiana's way. Our Bates snagging one. For Lane to open up, left it short. Not a good shot, though. You can get that whenever you want it. The pace that Minnesota's playing with right now, this had to be the ideal pace for Ben. Yeah, Jones. they're going to slow it down. Their guys. Absolutely. They want to grind this thing to a halt. And for Indiana, I just think right now, every position that's not going inside to Trace Jackson Davis, why not? Cooper Wild shot. Now Hood Shafito is going to lead the charge the other way against three Gophers attacks and is fouled. To the knee to the thigh in the second half against Michigan State. He has done so many good things here in his freshman year. And that Michigan State game broke a nine game stretch of nine straight and double figures. He's shot it much better. He's commanded the offense and he's just continuing to learn how to run this team. Grace Thompson right now trying to keep up with Jamison Battle. Doesn't leave his feet. Now Cooper closed off by Cop. Battle with four. With three from the corner. <laughs> that was Cal. That was well defended right there. Race Thompson is right there. It's just better offense from Jamison Battle. You're pulling out a two. That's a two. So it's 39 36 as Race Thompson knocks it down. That's got to be where that ball goes to the middle of the floor. Race Thompson posted up there. That zone flattens out. They leave him alone, and he knocks in that floater. He's made field goal tonight. With Thompson, three points at all. Samuels off the fake, in the paint, floater, around it in. That's really well done by Torres Samuels. Playing under control, the ball fake gets him downhill. Playing off two feet, right over the top of Trace Jackson Davis. Jackson Davis to Bates. Baseline, tough jumper, way too strong. Jackson Davis, though, with the rebound. Underneath and dunked it down. No panic there. From the senior. That's a veteran play right there. Not using it.
wasn't his arm to hook the defender, but rather his elbow. Jameis in battle has had some struggles because he's got a switch now with Hood Shafino, but you have not seen him be able to take advantage of those types of mismatches. And that's another good defensive possession there by Race Thompson. Race Jackson Davis off the loose ball. Numbers for Indiana. Now Minnesota gets back defensively. Hood Shafino, though, open look. Doesn't go, and Thompson had position on Indiana now, 3 of 11. Beyond the yard, Jackson Davis off the inbounds pass. Kept it high, never brought the ball down, and he's off to a strong second half start. Just gave the inbounder the look, and that's just communication, throwing it up top. And a 24 rebound performance in a loss at home to Northwestern. Boy, Ben Johnson not happy. Threw up a play here for Jamison Battle, and it just could not execute it. Well, <laughs> you get the result you want, it doesn't matter. Now with 11. There's go for to reach double figures. Minnesota's played zone. The bulk of the night really had to with their personnel. And Indiana has done a much better job here in the second half of finding that high post. Jackson Davis draws attention and off the glass it in. He catches that ball in the mid in the high post and he's just wheeling on that defender immediately to the left hand where he wants to get. Three straight games for Minnesota. Zach Eady, Purdue, Hunter Dickinson, Michigan, and tonight, Trace Jackson Davis all in a row. That's no joke right there. Only in the Big Ten are you seeing bigs like that night in and night out. Samuels with five. High arc at three. Nearly banked it in. And Race Thompson with a rebound. Indiana momentum and the ball. But Shafino open look up top for three. I was short. And Cooper lets that one go into the Indiana bench. Hoosiers are now three of 12. Oh. The Gophers, whose mother, 93 years young, Marlis, a two time cancer survivor. Henley. Is fouled before the shot by Malik Radu. First foul on Radu. Dave Thorson, by the way, was Ben Johnson's high school coach. Here by Dale LaSalle. Part of his staff for the second year. Who was that? You get right. to have your high school coach on staff, a guy that you certainly look up to as a kid and you get to be around every day. Henley and one! <laughs> and on complete the three point play. Hopers now six out of 12 at the line. It's been more of the norm. Unfortunately, they just have not been able to capitalize at the foul line. Hooper trapping Galloway, forced a turnover. Gophers have numbers. Battle lost it. That was well done by Cobb. He knew exactly who he had to find, and that was James in battle in transition. Battle over Jackson Davis. And we have a two point game. Scan grab the lead with a three, tie with a two. Cooper challenged by Jackson Davis with a great block his second tonight. Hang time on that was just ridiculous from Trace Jackson Davis. But Shafino no, and the rebound to Minnesota. Look at Talon Cooper for a moment got away with a foul. Looked like he had a tug of the jersey on it. Shafino as he was letting that ball leave his hands. Eight to shoot. Samuels floats. Tie game. Under ten to play. Minneapolis.
Davis. Oh, you. Gophers one and seven in Big Ten play. Indiana came in red hot. Winners of three straight, four and four in league play. This has got to go into Trace Jackson Davis. But Shafino penetrates the zone, lays it up, and Trace Jackson Davis throws it down. It's just like the air got sucked right out of this building. That's an incredible display of athleticism. 21 points, 16 rebounds for Trace Jackson Davis. An emphatic dunk on the lob from which Shafino now Geronimo with the foul. Losers by two. I will say, in Indiana's three-game winning streak, I felt like their defense was dictating other teams' offense, and that doesn't, that hasn't been the case. Now, right on cue, here's a steal. That's dictating something. Tip no, and now on a run out. It's a four-on-two. Battle for the lead, yes! Five-point swing. Gophers by one. Jackson Davis has the last eight points for Indiana. Galloway, can he answer? Yes, he does! Trey Galloway, back and forth we go. Knocks down his first three tonight. He has had a rough ball game shooting it, whether it's the foul line or from three. It's Trey Galloway stepping up to the plate and knocking it out of the park. 16th made three this season, had 12 threes made combined. His first two years overplay by Hood Shafino. Cooper has a good look. That was halfway down. That was another play where it's a loose ball, and Minnesota comes up with it. A battle of the foul. It's the third foul on Minnesota. Thompson at the elbow, left it short, tipped it back out, hit Shafino off the fake. Those are all three of them, just not very good looks for Indiana, a panic look. And I'm sure all Indiana fans are wondering, why does the ball not even touch now in three's hands? But the way he's playing, it's a great question. And you want to get it to the middle of the zone, but that doesn't mean you have to shoot it every time you catch it there. Boy, ben Johnson wanted Thompson to let that go. I'd rather him shoot a three than that. This has been one of those nights. Thompson now with eight. Well, one man's injury is another's opportunity, and that's what we're seeing with this Minnesota team tonight. I think Noah Kraft's got to be ready to shoot, too. You got these Indiana shooters around the perimeter and shot faking. Pretty nice drive there by Miller Cobb, making a pay off that zone. Wiley Cobb now with 11. Three Indiana players in double figures. Led by Jackson Davis, 21. Cop 11. Renew with 10. Galloway went for the steal. Cooper on top of it. Needs some help. Gets it from Samuels. Jackson Davis away from the basket right now. It's going to be battle with four. Deep three. Oh! Shot clock is coming down in battle. That's what he wants to do is let it fly. Cop up top. No. I think Minnesota got away with a push in the back right there. Reese Thompson went up and he got blatantly shoved on that rebound. Jamison battle 20 points. He's drained four threes. Thompson, he'll let it fly. Wait well, The Gophers as a team, they've attempted 23, has only made five. Battle has made four of the five. Galloway open the lane. No, tipped into the hands of Headley. 
Matt Diaz also had some point blank looks. Yeah, you combine yeah, the first half, second half. They've missed a few around the rim. Have we seen Jordan Geronimo in the second half? I don't think he's played. Battle against Jackson Davis drives. Blocked by Jackson Davis. Henley with the loose ball. I think the shot clock reset. You know what? The shot clock did reset, but it should not have. Could be Trayton Thompson. Could be Talon Cooper. <laughs> Cooper lets it fly, and it's an air ball. This ball has got to go to the hand of Trace Jackson Davis, and it's got to find the middle of this 2-3. As it does, and Jackson Davis is found. A big man with Penn State. He had some great battles with Jackson Davis over the years about what makes guarding Trace Jackson Davis such a challenge. He said, you go up against a big, you try to anticipate their movement when they have the ball when they come down. But with Jackson Davis, he never fully comes down. It's almost like a pogo stick that when his feet hit the floor, he quickly back up. Second unlike, job. Uh, unlike it's as good as any you'll see. And I, I think John Hara is totally right. Empty trip. Jackson Davis missed a pair. Eight spoke to three of Samuels. Shot clock is at eight. What a the battle. Thompson, put back, blocked. Saved by Galloway. Looked like an easy two for Trey Thompson, but Jackson Davis had maybe the block of the night. There's no block on it, but give Race Thompson credit because he stayed in that play. Got a play on the basketball. Jackson Davis brought it out high, not brought it low. It was a poor feed on the entry pass. The second one off the block. An outstanding game here tonight. Golfers, Hoosiers meeting number 176. This ball is really close to half court right now. Cooper's got to be careful. Shot clock at nine. Galloway with the foul. That'll be team foul number five. somebody else. Cooper feeds Thompson. That's blocked. Block. Fourth block for Jackson Davis. Race Thompson feeds Jackson Davis who ducks it down. The D on one end, the dunk on the other. IU back within one. Well, Jackson Davis brings the ball up. Once again in transition. And there's that pass down to the low post. And Jackson Davis diving to the front of the rim. Gophers call a timeout. Minnesota has one remaining. Samuels, Cooper, Battle, Thompson, Henley. Galloway, Jackson Davis, and Shafino, Cop. And Reese Thompson. Nice job by Indiana right there, switching out and taking that handoff away. Battle with four over Jackson Davis. Long rebound. Bodies collide out of bounds. Indiana ball. And Cooper's down, as is Henley, and Cooper is now up and on his feet. Just back iron, and here's another one of those 50-50 plays. Under two minutes here, Robbie, 147, so they can't take, take a look at look possession here. That's going to be the take two. But Indiana's got to get it there. Yeah, 
whistle before the entry pass and a foul on Trey Thompson. That's number four. They got him for the hold, and honestly, a pretty smart play because that was going to be an uncontested layup. That, that was a well designed play there. Seconds. One point game. Left block. Jackson Davis missed it. Tip. No. Tipped again. No. Tops in the rebound. Multiple opportunities. You'll take the shot for Trace Jackson Davis. And boy, if you're Ray Thompson, you've got to want that one back because you were right there on that tip in. Shafino, he got the worst of that one. And that's going to be the sixth team foul. So Indiana had one to give, and Minnesota not yet in the bonus. Third foul on Shafino. Signal to the scores table was it? It was the hold before the contact. But... That'll have it just too early. Thompson will fire three off the mark. He was wide open. Here comes Indiana. Indiana's two timeouts, and they will use one five, and it is. Great pass. The double comes. That whole backside is open, and Thompson, as he comes through, I thought he got him right on that arm. Watch on the right arm as Grace Thompson goes up. I think there's contact there. You can see the ball get jarred loose. Grace Thompson, the second game back, injured his knee against Iowa. This four games, he thought his career was over when that injury occurred in Iowa City. Shooting two. Confidently nice knocks girl. down. It's a massive shot for the hometown kid. Has about 50 or 60 friends and family here tonight for his final game at Williams Arena. To give IU the lead. Sure. Jackson Davis, offensive rebound and scores. His 20th rebound. Indiana by two. Ten seconds separate the two clocks. Cooper for the lead. No. Ola Joseph for the rebound. It's caught. It's a double team, but Shafino, surprised Minnesota's not fouling him here. And out the floor out. come the Hoosiers. Christian seconds ticking away. Galloway has it with eight, and Minnesota led a lot of time. Tick off the clock. Hood Shafino's a sub 70% free throw shooter, and there was a chance to foul him. It said it's going to be free throws here for Indiana, just 8.2 to play. Trey Galloway shooting a one and one. 72% for the season. All of two tonight. Right now, if you're Indiana, this is where you gotta be discussing if this shot does not go down, are we fouling, are we not? I'm fine with either way. It's what you practice, but it's got to be communicated here. Minnesota has one timeout. Indiana, no timeouts. Here's the big one. Four-point game. Yes! Galloway knocks down two. Cooper will drive. Swatted away by Jackson Davis. 2.9 to play. Joseph they have to shoot does from the baseline it's off the mark and Indiana escapes with a four-point win at the barn.